Next news is out of Tennessee, USA. Atheists sue Tennessee School District for constantly pushing Christianity on kids. Good. Uh, This is pretty cool. Kelly Butler, who's an Army veteran, has two kids, Sharona and Jason. And those two have three kids uh, that all went through that school district, right? Well, they're atheists. And they've noticed that over the course of time that this school district is constantly pushing religion on kids. Like, pushing it hard. Like, the, the principal will have Monday assemblies and the children have to call out what they want uh, everyone to pray for, like prayer request circle kind of a thing. Hmm. And sometimes even uh, the vice principal will jump in with, you know, here's my prayer request. Uh, I would like you guys to pray for me. Um, and just there's a variety of different things that they do to, like, constantly bring up religion in their schools for these kids. So uh, the family is suing um, saying that they think this is unconstitutional, they shouldn't be able to do this, and I can't wait to see how this turns out. You know, the parents like this are like are amazing because, and they're not just saving their kids, but by doing this, they're saving a whole bunch of other kids from dogma and brainwashing. You know, like these are the people that are just like say like, yeah, no, you don't get to do this, and they just stand in the way of like all this nonsense getting you know this is i I mean these people are heroes i mean thank you for um, if the if the news is being reported accurately then these these people are heroes and we should be thanking them um jessica is saying this this actually makes me happy to be a tennessee is that how you say Uh, another top comment saying i live in tennessee and and at this very moment my kids are having to write an essay on moses and draw his pictures i'm like what the f this is part of their history homework shake my head but why are you accepting that like if your kids are doing that homework you should like rip it apart be like what the hell why are you how is this part of history class moses is not a historical figure why are you accepting them doing this to your kid so here's the deal with that and what a lot of people who don't have kids don't understand mm. is when when you see things like this, um, it's best to just talk to your kids about it and mm. see how they feel mm. about it and, and help teach them using critical thinking of their own um, on how to deal with it. Because if you go up to the school and start raising a stink, mm. then you risk ostracizing your child. Oh. Teachers don't like your child anymore. They once liked them. Now they don't. Um, they might say something. Let something slip and other kids start bullying your child now because they don't believe in God. Uh, and then they start punishing your child when your child speaks up and says, I think believing in God is stupid. Personal experience. I know this. Uh, so, you know, okay. it's, I, I think that these people yeah. are freaking amazing. These people are heroes because they, they are risking. They all decided this is this is worth the risk here, and we're going to stand up for what's right. So these people are great. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's easy to make decisions to risk what you know consequences to yourself. It's not that easy to make decisions like this when the consequences could be to your own <laughs> kids, right? Um, yeah, that's sad. That's hard. Yeah, this is why if I ever have kids, I pr- I might homeschool them. I don't, I'm not sure yet. Uh, Zeki yeah. is saying, good, you should not brainwash kids in making them believe in your standpoints. When they are old enough, they should make their own choices. And if they choose to believe in a higher power, they should. If not, it's their choice, not others. I don't know. I mean, I might tell my kids some things are true. I'm not going to make, I'm not going to tell, like, if they ask me, like, dad, is this, you know, should I, is sugar good for you? Uh, can I should I eat as much sugar as possible? I'm not gonna be like, well, I don't know. You have to wait until you become an adult to make your own decision. I'm gonna be like, no, that 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 stuff is toxic. Stop eating sugar. Like, I don't know. I, you know, I think we're taking this whole make let them make their own decisions until they become adults. I think we're taking that to a bit of an extreme. Like, there's some things that we need to tell kids. You know, this is right. This is wrong. You know, I don't know. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. 
we have built a global community and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.